So I've been building wheelie bars here um, out of paper clips, which is my favorite die cast vehicle medium, I guess you'd say, because it's um it's similar to what's on them, so it's metal. So I've been watching these tutorials from a guy named Luca's dad, and he's a YouTuber, and he's got these awesome videos of building wheelie bars. So I've been building trying to build things the way he does out of paper clips. He uses uh, piano wire, so that did not work with paper clips. So here's my little method of how to do it. So I'm gonna show you here how I made these. So this is a paper clip, obviously. So what I did was I took it, bent it out like this, and then I took my pliers and just bent that the rest of the way, but grabbed it where it, it was already had a little bend and just made that a 90. That's the part that's gonna tuck up inside the vehicle. So we can cut that off. And we'll trim it to actually fit later. But then to get that little like <clears throat> pin look, took the needle nose and I bent this part down to where it touched the top there and then work my way down the pin or the clip and bending it more and more till I got to the end and then it just sits like that like a almost like a cotter pin you could say so I did that with these guys and I was having trouble with getting the cross member to stick so I have this cross member that's the same size I'm sorry, the same width as the two holes on the base where I'm gonna be drilling in to mount this. So what I'm gonna to try to do here is get this to actually sit as if it's in a cotter pin, slide it up like that. Then I'll be able to glue it from this side, get the baking powder on, and it might actually set. It looks like it will. So now it'll just kind of look like a weld in there, which is really cool. Uh, so now I'm gonna put it on the other side and I'm gonna need to make sure that they are, so it needs to bend a little bit further. So it pinches it. So I'll just make sure that these are the same distance apart. It's gonna be a little bit different looking kind of wheelie bar. I was. Looking at pictures online, which you always got to do reference photos when you're doing this kind of stuff to make sure it looks semi-realistic. There you go. And there was one that looked like this that I thought was kind of cool. It just had the brace in the middle. So this is the method that I came up with that actually seems to work the best. So this is blue baking powder, of course. Uh, preferred method. So there is our little wheelie bar and now we're gonna mount the wheels to the end. So now I'm gonna make the little wheels that go on the end of the wheelie bar. As you can see I added a brace there too and I'm gonna sand all that down on the edges and paint it chrome. So I filled all of it with the super glue and, and um, baking powder. So I'm gonna use this paintbrush. This was a, a trick from Luca's dad that he does, he uses these paint brushes for the wheels, if I can get through one. So, trim these, clean these up a little bit obviously, but that's gonna be our wheels. What I'm doing to clean up these wheels is I'm just holding them between a needle nose and just scraping them with a with a file and because they're, they're plastic, they actually cleaned up pretty nice. Uh, and I'll, I'll continue working on them. And we'll just mount them with a little super glue now that they're all nice and clean. And just get a little glue on the end here. Pop it right in. It's already set, you can see. Same thing here. A little glue on the end. So there we go. So 
So there's our sweet little wheelie bar. So we'll paint the wheels black. And um, um, they're a little different size. We might try to file one of them down a little more. We'll file down this once it sets and dries completely. Uh, I'll paint the wheels black, chrome out the rest of it, and that's gonna be our wheelie bar. And I'll show you the car here too, how it's gonna sit. Boom, what's gonna do there. After some filing with a, a rasp, and also some use with this little emery cone wheel, I was able to get that file down really smooth on the edges. And also on the inside, as you can see, there's a couple little bevel kind of looks that look sort of like a weld, I guess. But I got the wheels run down so that they look a little bit more consistent. So that's a big improvement from the last time that, <laughs> that you saw it. So what I'm going to do now is get these wheels painted black. And I'm going to use my little helping hands here. And it, I couldn't decide if I should paint the entire thing black or paint the rest of it chrome or what. But uh, I'm going to start with just painting the wheels black. So there we are. All black on the wheels. So we'll do the chrome next. And now we'll do the chrome. I'm gonna go over all the super glue, and it's just gonna look like welds. Yay! And I am painting the paper clips too, just so that this chrome matches the chrome that's on the car. There we have the finished wheelie bar. Nice and pretty. So next we'll mount it to the car once it gets dry. So this is how we mount the wheelie bar to the vehicle. So we have this really itty bitty tiny drill bit. And there's, like I said, there's gonna be the, the spots right here. I just chose these because they're already holes. So we're just gonna drill through carefully of course there we go there's one I'm trying to get right in the center of those holes because that's where I measured it so there's our holes through there and then all you do is just put the wheelie bar um, pieces in the holes and there you are Wheelie bar. So then when you actually put the body back on the car, there it is. And you can adjust it, you can push it up or down. What I think I'm going to do is actually glue that in so it's raised because it should be raised a little bit like that. But that's about it. Now we'll get some decals and stuff on and keep going. And here it is fully assembled with the bar the wheelie bar on the back you see it comes right out of the the base and that's a wheelie bar thanks for watching everybody uh subscribe if you're new like and comment i love to talk to you guys on here and thank you for watching